Marvel Spider-Man Remastered is cracked by FLT, but why PlayStation is releasing their game without any DRM? What is going to be the next PlayStation game? This is Boss from It Charismatic. Let's get started. Firstly, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe it because if any game has any news, all those news are very first on my channel now. The first point, if you're interested in buying this game, you can go to Steam, you can go to Epic Game Store and buy this game at around 3,999 rupees. That is in Indian rupees. Now coming on to the main topic, the main point. Marvel Spider-Man Remastered with a size of around 54 GB is cracked by FLT but the biggest talking point here is that why PlayStation is releasing their game without any DRM? What is their motive behind it? Now the first point to consider is that if they add a DRM to the game it will impact the performance of the game. That PlayStation doesn't want. When they're porting their exclusive, their famous game, their world-class game from PlayStation to PC, the first thing in their mind is the performance. They do not want to compromise with the performance and you know when DRM is added to the game, there are chances that it may affect the performance. It may happen that if a game has a DRM, it runs smoothly on i3, it runs smoothly on i5, but it is not running smoothly on i7 or a different graphics card, NVIDIA or or AMD, anything can happen. So DRM is something bit complex. Uh, it doesn't suit, it doesn't run smoothly in every system. That's why Sony PlayStation doesn't want to uh, impact the performance of the game. And the second point is that they want a lot of gamers to play this game. That's why they're not, not adding any DRM so that to increase the performance. And you know that the pre-orders for this game were so high that I think Marvel Spider-Man Remastered is going to be a top seller game for 2022. That is the effect of Marvel Spider-Man Remastered and it is the most awaited, the most awaited character on the PC platform. PC gamers were expecting so many big games for PlayStation and Marvel Spider-Man Remastered is one of the biggest PlayStation game. I think after God of War and after Uncharted but still Uncharted is not there. That leads to the second topic that is what is going to be the next PlayStation game on PC. Now you know um, um, Spider-Man, Miles Morales, Last of Us remake are already lined up and Uncharted is already lined up but this year Uncharted is looking like very disappointing because Uncharted there is no yet announcement from Sony PlayStation. Why? Because I think they are still not happy with the PC port of that game and for them performance really matters. They want their games to run smoothly, the graphics to be enhanced. That's why I think they're holding on to Uncharted because they're not happy with the PC port. So as a gamer, you and me should be patient enough to understand that PlayStation is thinking about PC gaming, PlayStation is thinking about PC gamers. So we, you and me, should definitely understand that. And I think the next game this year could be either Miles Morales or Last of Us Remake and after August, I think October, December time, that is going to be the period when the next PlayStation game, either Miles Morales and or the Last of Us Remake could be coming on December. That is going to be the timeline but Uncharted, I do not think that it would be coming in 2022 because we are hearing nothing about that game and PC performance is a top priority for Sony PlayStation. So, so this was the news regarding your favorite game and still if you're watching this video and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you thinking about? Our next target is 10k subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe it and let, let, let this channel reach 10k subscriber mark and more. So if you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe to the channel. So see you on the video. Bye-bye. Take care. Keep supporting. Keep loving and always, always keep gaming.